Lantern fans. I am Eric Gates, and here I'm going to teach you a little bit about the Lantern Force. Now you can see I have four rings. The White Lantern, the Black Lantern, a Green Lantern, and a Star Sapphire ring. The Green Lantern is actually from the movie, The Green Lantern. Now, I'll get back to these in a moment. But to start off, I can tell you each there are nine, that's ten, nine cores. All right? Each one, the original seven, which you can see behind me, minus this and that, the one on the very far, each represent an emotion. This one represents the Black Lantern Core, representing death. And the one far over here, representing life, as you can see by the symbol in the rings. Now, through this little journey, we will be investigating a little bit about each. And we will learn how to fight if you would come across one of these. If you are a fictional character, of course. So let us begin at the start of it all. Let's begin with what they represent. Now, if I'm not mistaken here by my Book of Oa, the Red Lanterns represent rage, which is derived from their sorrow. Now, going in order to orange, powered by avarice, greed, the Sinestro Corps, Yellow Lanterns, representing fear, not the fear they have, mind you, the fear they can cause. From there, you go to the governing Green Lantern Core, which monitors this side and that side of the electromagnetic spectrum. From green, we move... Oh, speaking of which, they are powered by will. Almost forgot to mention that. Thankfully, it's here in my Book of Oa. Next, blue. Blue is for hope. All will be well is said by one of their main lanterns. After that, we come to the Indigo Tribe. Sorry, the chalk does not come in mu as many colors as I would like, so I have to repeat a lot of the colors. Indigo. Compassion. Many can see compassion as a weakness. I see it as a really good strength. Now we come to the Star Sapphires, representing violet light, but looks suspiciously pink to me. Alright, they represent love, and there's no real male members of this because their hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Then we move to Blackest Night, the Black Lantern Corps, raising people from the dead and a zombified life. Ugh. And finally, my, one of my personal favorites, the one that can actually bring true life back to uh, being the White Lantern Corps. Through this, we are going to learn their oaths and their weaknesses. Lantern fans, it's the time you've all been waiting for. It's the oaths I have here in front of me. Each of the nine rings. I shall read their oaths. We shall start with the beginning. Spectrum with red rage. With blood and rage of crimson red, ripped from a corpse so freshly dead, together with our hellish hate, we'll burn you all. That is your fate. <clears throat> Always painful to take off a red ring. Orange. Atlas. This one... This power is mine. This is my light. Be it in bright of day or black of night. I lay claim to all that falls within my sight. To take what I want, that is my right. Mine! <sighs> Sinestro Corps. The Yellow Lanterns. The blackest day and brightest night. Beware your fears made into light. 
that those who try to stop what's right burn like my power, Sinestro's might. The Green Lantern Corps. Almost everyone knows this oath, and I'm pretty sure some of you at home will be speaking this along with me. In brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Green Lantern's light. The blue has to be one of my favorites. Red's my favorite color, but blue has to be one of my favorite oaths. In fearful day and raging night, the strong hearts fool our souls ignite. When all seems lost in the war of light, look to the stars for hope where it's bright. Indigo is actually not in English. It's not been translated yet in the comics. So, Tolorek Sa or Nakamor, Natramo Fan Tor Nekwador, Terlantan Ker Lo Aban Sir, Tor Lek Lek for Maro Sun. You know it's empowered by compassion. Avarice, fear, will, hope, compassion. The Star Sapphires, I really I hate to say this, but I had to do it to complete the entire set. Star Sapphires are powered by love, so. For our hearts long lost and full of fright, for those alone in blackest night, accept our ring and join our fight. Love conquers all with violet light, though suspiciously looks pink to me. Oh, one of the scariest ones, and I hope some people do try this for Halloween. I sincerely urge you to do it. Like, become a Black Lantern. The blackest night falls from the skies. The darkness grows as all light dies. We crave your hearts and your demise. By my black hand, the dead shall rise. And the White Lantern. Didn't know I already became one with the Entity. In brightest day, there will be light. To cleanse the soul and set wrongs right. When darkness falls, look to the sky. A new dawn comes. Let there be light. Now you have all Lantern Oaths, Lantern fans. So, what makes these rings so special? They can form constructs. They are powered by the emotion or part of either death or life that they represent and they choose their wearer I could not become a real red lantern unless if this were a real red lantern ring no force on in the universe could make it go on my finger and work for me unless it chose me by me having such great rage in my own heart if I had the ability to cause great fear I could be chosen to be a member of the Sinestro Corps only by being able to overcome fear could I be a Green Lantern. Orange Lanterns, basically, you have to want it all. Lex Luthor became one, and he wanted it all. Blue Lanterns, just hope. Indigo, you just have to feel a bit of compassion. There are no male star sapphires, so I am glad I don't have to worry about that one. I'm just going to skip the black and white rings, because they just there are so many complications to how they can choose you. So, next section we'll be working on are the weaknesses of the core. See you then. All right, Lantern fans. I did promise you that I would get to those oaths, and I have done that. Now I'm going to get to you on the weaknesses. I'm going to tell you how you can defeat each Lantern core. Now, I'm going to work in reverse this time from white to red. Just because I feel like taking a little bit of a necessary step away from the usual. Okie dokie. So, the White Lanterns. They are so far by far the newest core and so far have no real weakness that can be exploited. However, having said that, there is one weak point to them. Is that the leader of the White Lantern Corps will be bonded with the White Entity. And for that, that would be making you the White Lantern. And apparently, it's the White Lantern is only as strong as its host, and the host can actually be ripped apart from the Entity. You know, from where there are one White Lantern to where the Entity is here, the host is over there now. It's kind of a crazy thing, I get that. Now, 
Black Lanterns, they are a little bit more complicated than that, and they do have a weakness. They are weak against the white light of life. That can completely obliterate them. However, they can regenerate. If, if, but a Red Lantern's plasma can actually uh, harm them a little bit more than what you normally think. So, along with this, I do have another one with the Black Lanterns. They can, the ring can only take you to, to a certain point. All right? The Black Rings don't seem to be able to make a construct like the other cores. Now, with that, the Black Lanterns can only take a person who did not die at peace, or did not, um, or is not in, does not have their emotions under control. They, if they have their emotions under control, and if you die at peace, there's no way you can become a Black Lantern, which is a good thing. Now, thing is with this, you know, next core, the Star Sapphires, I usually would have saved them for last, but the fact is that they are an important part here, and I'm going to mention them first because... Yes, they are powered by love, but does this make them weak? Not in my eyes, no. I mean, there are times they can be submissive because their hearts and emotions can get in the way. But more than likely, this can also make them extremely aggressive. So, with that being aggressive, with that aggressiveness, I can honestly say that that's when you men, I know you hear me, should run. Alright, you hear what I'm saying? When uh, you have made a star from Sapphire really angry, run for your life! Alright? Now next, moving from there, we're going to Indigo, Compassion. No real known weaknesses other than their Lantern Oath is not in English. It hasn't been translated to any other language. Anyway. Compassion can be seen as maybe too forgiving. It may be a weakness. You can see what it's done in the next uh, Lantern issue, probably. Probably going to mention that, maybe. I don't know, so we'll have to see. Next up is the Blue Lanterns. Now, Blue Lanterns can actually increase the ability of their, um, of their fellow Lanterns. But it can also decrease the negative effects, like, say, the effect of a Red Lantern ring. Like the negative, like the fact that it can stop your heart and can kill you if you try and remove it by yourself. So, with that, there is a weakness. No, Atrocitus made the fact that when Hal Jordan became a Red Lantern and not a Green Lantern anymore, but he still had the Green Ring, that there was no active Green Lantern. And according to him, that hope is worthless, which is hope is what the Blue Lanterns represent. Is worthless without an act without willpower to enact it, which means they need an active Green Lantern to access their full ability. So, having said that, they need a Green Lantern ring. Now, the Green Lanterns now they have been said that they are vulnerable to yellow. Yes, in a sense, this is true. They are vulnerable to fear because fear is the enemy of will. But the, the ring chooses them because they have the ability to overcome fear. And the same can be true for the Sinestro Corps, which are the Yellow Lanterns. They are powered by fear. Not the fear they cause, but the fear they can create. You know, the fear they can cause in others. Not, I mean, not the fear they feel. Not, you know, you get what I'm saying. So anyway, will is the enemy of fear, fear is the enemy of will, will is what makes you act, fear is what stops you, blah, 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 right? Now, the main point of this really is that these two are the one, most often that you'll see fighting each other, Sinestro versus Hal Jordan, Green Lantern, or vice versa, okay? That's how it works. Next, we move on to the Orange Lanterns. This is fairly simple. Since they are powered by avarice, you can use their greed against them. Make them forget their mission and make them want everything. It's that simple. Next up, and finally, last but not least, my personal favorite, the Red Lanterns. De their rage is derived from sorrow, which makes me really feel for these characters. That's why I really like them. 
but they use it in the wrong way. Now, the red ring can actually stop your heart. Once it's chasing you by rage and on your finger, boom, 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 your heart stops, okay? And it becomes your heart. So pretty much once you remove it, you die. If your rage is compromised and that ring falls off on its own, you die. So that's a way you can do it. You can compromise their rage, and that's by making them feel another emotion. Love, hope, uh, well, hope actually might save their life, but, but um, willpower is one. Uh, fear, pretty much any of the other emotions can probably, can probably kill the Black Lantern. That's a pretty good thing. I mean, not Black Lantern, Red Lantern, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm getting tongue-tied here, it's late. Anyway, now, having said this, hope is probably their enemy in a sense because hope can reverse their ill effects, you know, and can remove the red ring. Also, add a note that I just discovered that Star Sapphires can probably, the Violet Lantern Corps, suspiciously looking pink to me, can actually make it you know, make them, you know, love can apparently affect them too. So love and hope are pretty much the one, the couple of things that can beat them. All right, Lantern fans, that's all I got for you this time. I hope you enjoyed this review over the Lantern course, and I hope I can get to do some more superheroes for you. Stay tuned for my next latest things. So, till next time, let's shut up and light up.